Leading Ladies, a Zambian podcast on historical women leaders. The assumption is that women in our past have not been feminist. Reality has shown something quite different. Women have been feminists for centuries. This is the story of the feminist. Chikuku, Lusaka province, 19th century. The Soli migrated from the north, led by a woman by the name of Chisanka, and settled at a place called Winjimfumu. When Chisanka died, her granddaughter Chikuku took the throne. Chikuku ruled over the Soli people of present-day Lusaka province. For some years, she ruled her people from Winjimfumu before she moved her capital to the Chisamba area. There she married Mukuni of the Lenje, bearing him a son, Vimbe I. When he came of age, Vimbe I forced his father Mukuni off the throne and out of the area and began to rule. When Vimbe I died, Chikuku appointed his sister Chinyama to succeed him, and this daughter began to rule the Lenje Mukuni. Chinyama's reign was a turbulent one, as the Chikunda from Luangwa repeatedly attacked the Soli. For five years, the mother-daughter alliance ruled the Soli and fought the Chikunda. The Soli were finally defeated. Chikuku remarried this time to the younger brother of Chief Muyobe and bore another son, Vimbe II. He succeeded Chinyama, but Chikuku's other daughter, Chintala, organized an uprising against him and he was assassinated and she took over. When Chintala died, her sister Kayoshia's firstborn took over and became Komesha I. All her life, Chikuku ensured that Soli political power remained vested in female hands. Since then, all Soli leaders have been women. By 1889, Mukanda Komesha, was the only leader, a chieftainess who was acknowledged by all branches of the Soli. Women have been pioneering feminists. <laughs>